is Austin, and this is Iman, and today we're going to teach you the T6, T7 Aldoa. Aldoa, for those of you who aren't familiar, is a French osteopathic movement therapy system designed by a fellow named Guy Voyer. Now, the way that Aldoa works is you're using all the strength in your body against all of the tension in your body to create more space in your joints. So you'll experience a similar benefit as a manual therapist working on creating joint space or uh, lying on an inversion table. However, what's great about Aldoa is the results are sustainable because you're building that strength and ability in your own body. So, uh, T6, T7 is one of my favorites because it's very good for treating slouching posture. T6, T7 is the apex of your thoracic curvature. So if we were to look at the T-spine, it's the middle point. A way to easily identify this is it's generally where the bra line seems to sit. It's T6 and just above that there. So um, this is a great exercise I also like to use for individuals with thoracic scoliosis. So if you have any kind of a sideways posture or twisting through your mid-back, this is something to explore. As far as it being performed, uh, we're looking at doing all dual postures for at least a minute, uh, sometimes as much as 90 seconds. When performing Aldoa, I like to focus on a three second inhale and a three second exhale for 10 to 12 breaths. When you're performing Aldoa, it's not like yoga. The postures look like yoga, but with yoga, you're trying to relax into it. With Aldoa, we're doing the opposite. We're actually trying to create as much tension as possible, working as hard as we can, however, maintaining that consistent breathing pattern. So without any further ado, let's get into it. If you're new to Aldoa, you might want to try this posture using some yoga blocks, uh, but it's not necessary. We're going to start off with our legs in a cross-legged position here. And the first thing we're going to take note of is where our feet are placed relative to the pelvis and the low back. So if your feet are too close to your pelvis and they're really tucked in, then what might start to happen is the back starts to round and you get a lot of stiffness here. So what I want you to do is to walk your feet out as much as you need to so that you're able to have some mobility in your low back and maintain it keeping flat without it rounding back. Once you've found that position, we're gonna anchor the outside arches of the feet and pull them towards each other to help bring the knees closer towards the ground. You should start to feel a little bit of activation in the glutes. From here, we're gonna work on our lemiscat of the spine to build tension. So to do that, you're gonna roll the pelvis forward Counter that by pressing the ribs back. Counter that by arching the chest out and tucking the chin back. This forward back, forward back creates axial extension and decompression through the spine. From here, we have two options for going into it with the arms. This one I like to use for individuals with any kind of shoulder injury or shoulder irritation. You're gonna reach both arms out in front of you, pressing the hands together, really pressing through the pinky border locking the elbows, rolling the arms outwards into external rotation. I want you to really spread the shoulder blades forward off the rib cage without rounding the upper back. Now from here, very slowly reach the arms up overhead without letting the chin jump forward or letting the head move. And don't feel obligated to go all the way back, only go as much as you can. And I want you to really focus on finding tension in the mid back, holding that for 60 to 90 seconds, that's your T6, T7 Eldoa. Now you always want to ease out of it nice and slow because we don't have a fascial rebound effect. Now we'll take a look at our second variation. This is the more traditional classic way of going into it. Um, I want you to try both and see what works best for you. So we would do all the same things we did with the legs, with the spine, stacking all that up. The only difference is how we add tension through the arms. So once you've got your spine stacked, you can bring the hands in front of the chest. And then from here, you're going to reach the arms up directly over the head, aligning the arm with the ear, the ear with the spine. And then from this position, slowly start to press up overhead, holding that for 60 to 90 seconds. Again, same posture, just a different entry. See what one works best for you.